So one of my subscribers recently asked me what I thought about uh, this parabolic reflector. He sent me a uh, link to a seller on eBay. So uh, it was only five pounds. So I actually purchased this. I uh, think it's for the uh, DJ Phantom quadcopter uh, in particular to go on the uh, antennas of the controller itself and I presume those antennas are also flat so they can fit through those two holes and basically uh, what the uh, seller was saying is this will uh, add a uh, considerable amount of range to uh, your actual controller and he had a uh, map there uh, with two points and basically what he was saying it would uh, double the range of uh, your quadcopter. Now I also had a link to a video where somebody had one of these and they was using uh, a laser pen to actually show how this reflects the uh, RF signals back onto the antenna which uh, goes in this position here. But uh, what I can tell you without uh, actually getting the ruler or anything like that out, this is not a uh, parabolic curve. What this is, is just a plain and simple curve. So all it's going to be is a basic reflector now i can show you this i've got a uh, roll of masking tape here so you can clearly see that that is a curve so basically it's got no focal point so all it's going to do is reflect some of the rf from uh, behind here back onto the dipole antenna and it will give you a little bit more range now even if this was a true parabolic curve with a uh, focal point right here back onto the dipole antenna it won't give you uh, double the range RF does not work like that so uh, you know if you purchase this you are not going to get double the range even if it was a uh, true parabolic curve it just does not work like that. Now what I will say is the idea is sound, I actually like the idea, although there's nothing new about uh, adding a uh, parabolic curve onto a dipole antenna to increase its forward power. Now what I will say, the idea of doing this is uh, nothing new and it is actually a sound idea. There is a uh, windsurfer template that's been around for years and years now that you can download and uh, cut out the uh, template. I've got it here. I've just uh, cut this one out this morning and uh, you put some reflective material on the uh, reflector side here and this shape is a true parabolic shape and it's got a hole here for your dipole antenna and that's the actual focal point of this parabolic reflector and these work really well and they work really well because this is a true parabolic curve with a focal point. So what I thought we'd do then is actually uh, make one of these but make it a true parabolic shape so it has a focal point for both antennas. It just amazes me that uh, somebody's gone to the trouble of uh, 3D printing this but they haven't gone to the trouble of uh, doing the mathematics to actually work out a true parabolic curve with a uh, focal point you know all they've done is uh, get something like a compass and drawn out a circle and uh, this curve here has probably come from a circle that uh, has a diameter of around 100 millimeters and that is all they've done a uh, curve has no focal point it's not a parabola a parabola is a shape in its own right and uh, it can be actually be worked out mathematically now because this is made for the uh, phantom controller to fit over the two antennas i don't have uh, one of those controllers here in the lab but uh, i've actually taken the measurements from these so i've gone 80 millimeters which is the measurement from here to here 80 millimeters from here to here and I've mapped out the two parabolic curves here on some uh, cork because I'm going to use that as uh, my main building platform. And uh, you can quite clearly see here the two parabolic curves, the big difference between uh, this here, which isn't a parabolic curve. And uh, you can clearly see when you uh, actually look at these, the difference that I'm uh, talking about between a parabolic curve and just a curve reflector. And I've also made these so the actual focal point is uh, very similar to the focal point on the, the standoffs here. It's actually 14.2 millimeters from 
the uh, curve here the center of the curve out to here so it's going to be similar but uh, it is going to be a true parabolic reflector so because I've actually mapped these out directly onto the cork which I'm going to be using as the uh, main foundation what I'll do is actually cut this out and then I'll scan it and I'll uh, upload it as a template in case you want to actually uh, copy this and build one for yourself so I've got the two parabolic shapes cut out of the cork and now what I'm going to do before I actually start putting it all together is uh, drill the hole for the focal point so I can put a dipole antenna through there. So I need to measure from the centre of the parabolic curve here 14.2 millimetres. And for the back, the actual reflector part, what I'm going to use is just some thin card and uh, I've covered it with some aluminium tape. Now uh, you could use a piece of tin something like that but I just want to try and keep the weight down a little bit so just for speed I'm using uh, super glue to actually glue this reflector onto the cork there so it should do a good enough job holding it in place so don't try and glue it all at once do what I've done here so now I'm going to add some more super glue along here and then bend that around there and then super glue on this side and bend that one around there so I've got my parabolic curve finished and uh, I did have to use epoxy to attach the cork the uh, super glue wasn't strong enough but uh, what I want to do now is put them both to the test now what I actually intend to do is use two identical alpha cards and two identical uh, dipole antennas so I'm going to be using these little dipole antennas they're about uh, 2.5 dB of gain and the reason I'm going to use these is because I'm guessing by the size and the uh, photographs for what this is uh, meant to be the uh, phantom quadcopter that uh, that probably uses this antenna as well because the next uh, dipole antenna up which is uh, one of these slightly longer range ones is just far too big to actually fit on this uh, enclosure here the uh, parabolic curve that I've purchased off eBay so I'm going to go with these so how I'm going to test this then I'm just going to be using one side of uh, each of these reflectors with the one antenna and that should give us an idea the uh, performance that we actually get by adding a reflector to one of these simple dipoles so it's uh, a fair test uh, both identical dipole antennas both identical alpha cards it's just that uh, mine is a true parabolic curve where this one is just a uh, curve so as you can see I've got both of them side by side I've got some masking tape holding them both in that position and uh, I've got the eBay one on the right and I've got my parabola on the left so we'll give them a quick scan I'll scan the uh, eBay one first and then I'll scan mine and we'll compare both signals how many access points we can pick up and generally how much stronger they are so now that they're both settled down you can see that I've got far more access points on uh, my parabola and uh, the eBay one which is not a parabola it's just a reflector is doing a uh, job of boosting that little dipole antenna remember these little dipole antennas are only about uh, 2.5 of gain they're only small they're only meant to be used in uh, short range situations so it is giving it a little bit more forward gain but uh, you can definitely see there the uh, difference that a true parabolic curve can do to actually give you that forward gain more power and more range so as you just saw in that test then you can't beat a true parabolic uh, curve reflector to give an antenna some extra forward gain and range and uh, as for the video with the laser pen trying to show that uh, this is a parabolic curve because uh, you know the the laser the light from the laser just scatters it doesn't really show you anything at all so what I've actually done then I've made this template so you can download it and you can make your own parabolic curves by following this outline here so you can make yourself a double one or you could even make yourself a single one if you've got a different uh, radio device to the uh, one that's used on the uh, phantom quadcopter or you could even just go and uh, get the windsurfer template get a little bit of uh, aluminium foil and knot one of these together and uh, these are just throw away 
to, that only cost pennies to actually uh, make so if you uh, lose it or uh, you know you step on it it doesn't really matter you just can make yourself another one and you can also make this uh, windsurfer a little bit more robust by using uh, plastic to actually build it from instead of card there's numerous videos out there as i say this has been uh, around for as long as uh, wi-fi probably has and uh, i'm not really sure who actually came up with it first there's uh, quite a few different uh, you know uh, websites claiming that uh, they are the uh, inventors of the windsurfer but uh, what i do know is that this works and it works better than a uh, traditional reflector so i hope you found that video useful then if you did please give it a thumbs up any uh, questions or comments below and i'll do my best to answer them and uh, if you have got a 3d printer and you want to have a go at making this you can download this template and get yourself a true parabolic curve with a true focal point so uh, you know if uh, you want to make some of these and sell them by all means i ain't got a problem with that so hopefully you did enjoy this video and hopefully you'll join me for the next one.